Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Geneforge 4. We've checked out the two camps on either side and talked to people and such things, and right now what I'd like to do is, uh, well, let's see about getting some assistance before we go anywhere. I think maybe we'll take one servile technician. Excellent. And one channeler. Excellent. We'll also take one rebel soldier and one rebel baton wielder. Perfect. Although we do have enough space for one more. Hmm. Should we take one more? I mean, we should probably take one more, but who? Not a technician or channeler, of course not. But which? Baton wielder? Warrior? You know, we have enough range. Let's take another... There we are. Alright. As you leave the barracks, one of the warriors accompanying you gets your attention. Uh, pardon me, we have already had some preparation and training for this mission. If I may be so bold, I would make a suggestion. I am prepared for a frontal assault on the ruins of Grosh. The gates we should go through are to the southwest. The area directly to the west is heavily trapped, so I won't be able to help you there. As you leave the barracks, one of the servile technicians accompanying you gets your attention. Uh, pardon me, Lifecrafter. We have already done some scouting to try to determine the best approach to Grosh. I if I may be so bold, I would make a suggestion. The gates to the southwest are heavily guarded, and we won't be able to help you get through them. However, there is a hole in the city walls directly to the west. The road is trapped, but we can help you get past safely. Once we are inside, we can tell you other things. We have learned in our scouting. Please take what we say into account. Many serviles died to bring us this information. Alright, so we have the two routes. I think we'll start with the area here to the north, just west of here. Sure, it's mechanical, but we should be fine, I hope. Come on, come on, everyone get here. There we are. Northern Fens, let's see. Ah, interesting. Yes, I can see what they meant by it. One of the servile technicians looks around and nods. Lifecrafter, this is a good route for us. Our scouting creations have indicated that the northern portion of the Fens near the mountains is guarded by fields, not creations. If we make our way through that area, we may be able to find a way to slip into Grosh without any inconvenient fighting. As you survey the swamp, stretch of swamp ahead, one of the warriors accompanying you gets your attention. Uh, pardon me, Lifecrafter, there is a gate leading into Grosh not far to the west. Uh, however, it is sealed. There may be a way into the city there, but it is heavily trapped. I humbly suggest that if we want to fight into the city, we should do it farther to the south. Yes, thank you. We're going to clear out every route we can. But thank you for the suggestion. Ah, oh, hello. Oh. Oh, I see. We're going to need a lot of help in order to get through here. Okay, I understand. One of each isn't really going to work. Well, let's at least see. This pathway is lined with mines. When you get close to the sensors on top of them, they don't react to you. It should be safe to pass them. Good. Good, it's safe. Alright, so what is in here? Looking around, you can see three islands of relatively dried dirt protruding from the marsh. They are being used to breed small creations, mines, batons, and living tools. One of the advantages of using living creatures as weapons and equipment is that when you need more, you just have to breed them. It isn't even necessary to be a shaper to do this. One just needs training, work, and patience. And, of course, good reflexes in case a faulty or easily angered baton decides to shoot you by... mistake. Ah, here's someone. There is a man living by himself out here in the swamps. He seems surprisingly comfortable given the circumstances. The mines are keeping the rogues away, and he looks like he can defend himself. When he sees you, he doesn't seem worried. Come in, come in. Uh, wipe your feet first, please. I am Nikel. I don't get many visitors out here, and none of them that have been touched by the Gene Forge. It is nice to have some company. He offers you some tea. You could tell that I've used the Gene Forge? Nikel nods and chuckles. Something about this irritates you greatly. He notices your agitation and stops smiling. When I still spent time in the, within the company of the Shapers, there was much discussion of the new techniques of the Rebels, their effects, and how to recognize them. And what do you recognize in me? 
the pale skin, the barely perceptible glow of the eyes, the barely contained hostility in the presence of an outsider. I say all of this with great respect. Do not kill me, please. But the signs on you are more clear than most. You have immersed yourself in the shaping arts of the rebellion. You will find, I think, that it has a powerful effect on you. You have left the company of the shapers? Yes, I no longer spend time around those immersed in shaping, be they rebel or loyalist. That is why I came out here, and I plan to stay here until the war ends. Fair enough. Nikel chats happily, pleased to have some company. He tells you about what it's like to breed creations in the swamp. It sounds pretty boring. Why do you live out here? I have separated myself from the constant company of those who mold life. I am instead pondering for myself the wisdom, or lack thereof, of those who have created a new philosophy. I am weighing it to see if it is a viable path in the future for those already currently alive. Tell me about this philosophy. In Delaim, while doing some breeding work for the Shapers, I met a man named Drury. He was of a sect that called themselves the Trachobites. They believe that the practice of shaping is inherently dangerous and corrupting. My evaluation of this idea was not sufficiently discreet, and thus I ended up out here. These swamps seem an excellent place to study the theory. Tell me more about Drury. He is a very brave and kind man. Or was. I doubt that if he still lives, he will survive for long. Once the Shapers find out what he is preaching in one of their cities, they will kill him. You consider becoming a Trachvite, but you breed Shaper tools and weapons? The Trachvites believe that anything that lives now deserves to live. It is the creation of new varieties of life that should cease. Let nature decide what to do with what lives now. Eh, I suppose it does make a bit of sense. Why is this swamp so interesting? Because Shaper Monarch, whether originally a rebel or a Shaper, is an example of what Shaping does. He is not the first madman to use these powers to do great harm. He will not be the last. What do you think? Hmm. Well, as for what I think, yes, there are going to be disasters. Yes, there are going to be problems like Shaper Monarch. It's always going to happen. Whenever you have a new technology of almost any kind, there's going to be problems. Even with technology, whenever it, it comes up, there's going to be negatives and positives. The worst examples would be the technology of improvements in war, better ways to kill, better guns, better bombs, nuclear weapons, and so on. But at the same time, there's also good things in technology that have happened. M advancements in medical technology that have allowed people to live a great amount of time longer. Shaving itself is a double-edged sword like that, a, a type of technology in its own way, if organic technology. Yes, the disasters of rogue creations becoming stronger and more deadly and overrunning the land like this, yes, that's always going to happen. But at the same time, shaping, when properly controlled and properly treated, can provide great boosts. Make barren wastelands fertile, make things easier for so many people. Like I say, it's a double-edged sword. There are great things about it, and there are also negative things. And the way I see it, the benefits of shaping outweigh the costs of, it, of its existence, just so long as it's properly controlled. Do they? Perhaps. But as time passes and techniques will improve, shaping will only do more harm. Think of the Dracons, who did not exist a few short decades ago. Think of new diseases, new plants that choke out all existing forests or crops. You may be right, but I am very worried. You breed creations? That is my profession. It has been for many years. The Shapers make these things, but they have neither the patience or interest to breed them once they are made. Shapers are not suited to actual work. I make living tools, batons, and so on. I sell them to those who would buy them, which lately has been the Rebels. How did you learn to breed the creations? I went to one of the Shaper universities. You would be surprised at the range of programs they have for those who can afford them. I minored in defensive magic. That helps me stay alive out here. Eh, I suppose it makes a bit of sense. It's nice to see that Shaper universities even take in regular people like this, who and don't teach them in shaping. Is breeding creations difficult work? Yes. The creatures are very delicate. They tend to unhealthiness. They need to be properly fed, cleaned, trained. It takes work to get a baton to not fire when it is startled, or gets too warm, or just feels like it. And only a few of the mines I breed are suitable to be placed. The rest need to be disposed of. Very dangerous work, that. I imagine. Can I buy some of your creations? Living tool, baton, thorns, nothing we need. Um, I'm afraid the Guardian Horus up in the Western Rise asked me to kill you. 
And what a wretch he is. I express an interest in the in a way of thought, just an interest, and he calls for my death. He represents the worst arrogance of the Shapers. But you have found me, and I am considering aiding the Trachobites. I will not hide it. So tell me, what will you do about it? Well, in all honesty, Horus is a dick, and this is a chance to spite him. Plus, in all honesty, I don't really have a problem with the Trachobites. As long as they're not trying to actively do terrorist acts, and are just, you know, preaching it, sure... They're not, they're not really a cult. They're not a cult. They just have different religious beliefs, more or less. And there is no problem with that whatsoever, at least the way I see it. As long as you're not forcing it onto everyone, and going on great crusades to kill everyone, and force your way on into everyone, I have no problems with this. So, yeah, like I said, plus he's a dick. I won't harm you. I'll tell Horace that you escaped. I appreciate it, and I will not stay here long. Now that he has tracked me to these swamps, I must be moving on. Thank you, stranger. I can still have a little hope for the wisdom of thinking creatures. Of course. You're welcome. We'll tell him you're gone. Bye. Now, let's find our way through here. Let's see. What else can we find? Can we go anywhere, actually? Well, with all the traps and such. Oh! Oh dear! Hello! <laughs> Didn't see that. Oh, there's more over there. Okay. Befouled rogue. Alright. Moyes, you are a drake now? Fire! Wow! That was a lot of damage. I can't believe we didn't decide to do this sooner or something. I even... Oh, that's what was happening. Okay. I got confused for a sec there. A channeler. Not able to do much. Ow. Yeah, you stay back. You're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, get a little help from the fire. Okay, nothing happened. And... There we are. Oh yeah, this drake is going to be wonderfully good. Uh, can you get up there and fire, maybe? Oh, that did that did it quite a bit. All right, and the channeler can assist. There we are. That works. Oh, come on! What's going on now? Come on, get down here. There we go. All right, you guys are fine. Alright, kill that. There we are. Little closer. Still a little closer. There we are. I didn't realize just how strong this drake was. I mean, jeez. An army of drakes would be incredibly powerful. I like this. Why did I never make a drake before? I mean, jeez. More creations. In a very well-guarded location. This will be interesting. Alright, Moyes, can you one-shot it? Uh, can you? You can! Very nice. Alright, you two go there. Hmm. Alright, Faye. Thank you. Channeler. Well done. Ow. You stay back. Oh, I got stunned. That sucks. There we are. Oh, jeez. That is a lot of creations and is trapped with quite a bit. Right. Poison. Fine. Guards. Get up there, do what you can. Come on, come on. Missed. Ah, jeez, that was a lot. Alright, we have to see if we can get these guys to stay alive. Oh boy, that is a lot. And there's no way we'll even be able to get into that gate. Oh boy. 
This is not going to go well. Okay, you kill that one. Thank you. You... You... That one? There you go. You burn that one. I said burn that one. There we are. There we are. Oh, one of the warriors is terrified. Oh well. That one's dead. Ah! We lost a warrior. Oh! Someone came from around behind us. Okay, can you actually do... Yeah, that would be a stupid idea. Alright, you know what? Uh, cure everyone just to make sure they're all fine. There we go. Oh, oh, I forgot about that one. Missed it. There we are. Okay, everyone's fine. Oh, jeez, more! Didn't see that coming. Uh-oh. This is not gonna end well. We should probably make our way out of here. Fairly quickly, I imagine. Yeah, you stay there. You kill that. Or not. Okay, that's almost dead. Ow. You stay back. You can heal that. Oh, great. You know what, this isn't working. What the hell? Is that... He's merged with the wall! No clipping hacks or cheater? Die! Right, we need to get out of here. Everyone, run. We need to get out of here. Let's go, let's move. Move, move, run, run, run! We need to get another technician in order to get out of here. So I'm gonna run out and do just that. Up! Ah! One of them came from behind. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. There we are. Alright, let's move. I'll get another technician to replace the warrior we lost. Requisite and possum. Alright, now we have two technicians. We should be able to shut off several of these traps. Good, we can. And we even got a little experience from it. Excellent, that shut off quite a few traps. Ooh. Ooh, fields of crystal and the like. Very interesting. Alright, still looking around. Sure, use four living tools. Don't have enough mechanic skill, god damn it. We need more of them. Jeez. How many of them do we need? I mean jeez. Let's not use the living tools, because I have a feeling if we had another one of those, we'd be fine. Instead of a channeler, actually. Yeah, most likely. Oh! Hello! And... Okay, those we can disarm, at least. Ah! No wonder, there's the way out! It's a good thing we didn't do that. Otherwise, that would have been very bad. Don't want to go that way, either. And that way is completely not going to work. Alright. All that leaves is going in the north here. And it's still not cleared. How the hell do you clear these areas? <sighs> Alright, then we're going to have to go through the south area. Hold on while I go back through the northern fens and get to an area where we can stop and save and such. Alright, I think that's enough of that. I think we'll keep this group for now. I mean, we do have a fair bit of punch. Only a little melee attack, but it'll stay for now. Next episode, I think we'll end up fighting our way through the, uh... 
through the westernmost area to try to get into Grosh from the south. If we can do that, things will be very good. But that'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I am Chester44, that is Enrique, Mor Moyes, Fey, and various rebel-aligned people. This has been a Gene Forge 4 Let's Play, and I will see you all next time.